Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Uh, today we have another month set up. Uh, this is going to be for the month of September, of course, but yeah, I'll go ahead and bring you guys to my desk so we can go ahead and get started. All right, guys, if you want to pause this video really quick so you can go ahead and grab your cup of coffee or tea and your insert so we can go ahead and work in our September setup together, go ahead and do that. And uh, if you're curious about the type of insert that I'm using uh, for the month of September, this is actually a traveler's notebook sorry, not Charles Notebook, Travelers Company insert is their uh, 003 insert, which is their 64 um, pages um, MD paper, which is their white blank MD paper insert. Um, and if you're new here, I'm just gonna explain really quick how I set up my Travelers Notebook, just so you don't feel lost um, and you understand a little bit more uh, the video. Now, if you want a little bit more of a depth in the in explanation, I do have an entire playlist with my setup. So I'll link it above here on the screen if you want to check it out later. Um, especially, I recommend you to go watch my um, my Traveler's Notebook setup for 2020. I go into a lot more details about how I set up everything. So yeah, highly recommend to go check it out, of course, if you're interested. But let me explain at least a little bit so you don't feel so lost here. Um, so I use my Traveler's Notebook as both my planner as well as my daily journal. And uh, I like to only use one insert per month. I don't mix months in my insert. Um, so every insert is dedicated for just one month and uh, in that insert i will have both my daily journal as well as my planner um, and that uh, you might be curious um you know to why i added um an extra page in the beginning there uh to the center of my insert and the reason being is because uh, i not only have my planner and my journal all together in this insert but I also journal daily and uh, my daily journal, I dedicated two full pages for each day of the month. So every month I do need to add it and an extra page to my insert in order for me to be able to fit everything. My planner portion as well as my daily journal with all of the pages that I need for each day. So I always have to add it in an extra page with the exception of the month of February you know, for obvious reasons, but, but yeah. And that's why I love to use this uh, insert from Traveler's Company, the 003, because one, it gives me the freedom because it's very simple, it's just white paper, but two, because they have this, um, you know, insert stapled, so it's much easier for me to just lift it up the uh, staples, um, you know, added my extra page that is needed and uh, close it up and uh, I'm good to go. But you can do the opposite. Uh, if you don't like to journal daily or if you don't need two full pages for each day um, of the month, you can actually remove pages out of your insert and actually, you know, um, have a smaller insert for each month. So that's what I like so much about this insert because it really gives you the flexibility to do whatever you need to be done with that. But yeah, I uh, hope that makes sense. Again, um, if you don't understand quite yet what I'm doing, highly, highly suggest to go check it out my setup um, video or my entire play playlist so that way you can understand a little bit more how it works. But yeah, so uh, once I'm done adding that extra page, um, and I like to do that right away as soon as I open the package because otherwise I will forget and then it's too late. <laughs> uh, so I like to add it right away, that extra page. And if you're curious about why the heck I added some washi tape to cover the staples is because I like to protect the elastic of my Traveler's Notebook. Um, because I lift it, once I put it back, I can never make those staples flat the way that they come from you know from the packaging so I just rather cover them at least from the time being until I get to that 
to that page and I can decorate it and cover the way that I prefer. I like to keep some washi tape covering the staples just to protect my elastic from, you know, from being damaged by the staples. Hope that makes sense. But yeah, so once I'm done with that, then I started my setup by decorating the cover. That's the first thing that I like to do because usually, uh, however I decorate the cover, I'll try to bring the theme throughout my planner portion. And that's what you are going to be seeing me uh, doing today. I'm actually setting it up the entire, you know, not only the cover for my insert, but the entire planner portion of my insert. In terms of the journal layouts, um, I have a several journal with me videos and uh, throughout the month, I show you guys pretty much all, almost all of my layouts throughout the month. So you'll be able to see how I decorated my daily journal portion. But yeah, but for my setup, I set it up the whole planner portion. So you're gonna see me decorating today my uh, insert cover, my goal page, my monthly log, and my weekly log at least for the first week of, of September um, and that the other few um, weekly logs I uh, will uh, bring different videos that you guys can check it out how I decorated those as well so yeah so for this month I decided to go with the vintage theme for the cover um, I haven't done a lot of vintage last month because my previous insert was a um, blue insert all of the pages inside was aqua blue so and uh, it was just a different insert that I used last month because I was gifted to it um, by one of my pen pals it was like a limited edition from Traveler's Company so I was super happy to have that so I decided to use it last month because it was my birthday month um, not last month it's actually still August <laughs> today is still August so for this month um, but yeah so, but it was very difficult for me to use vintage pages on that paper because blue and vintage I don't know I just it was hard for me to create layouts with vintage so with this white paper I feel it's much easier to create uh, vintage layouts and I absolutely love vintage it's one of my favorite uh, themes so I really missed it and I wanted to go all vintage this time so yeah so um let's go uh, over um, the materials that I'm using here today if you're curious uh, for the paper on the top this brown paper uh, this one is Tim Holtz it's from his uh, French industrial paper stash um, it's just have a bunch of like you know it's a yellowish paper with a bunch of I don't know writing nothing special really I just grabbed that one because I like the color I wanted to keep with the brown yellowish white theme uh, to be more on a vintage side the white paper that you saw me adding there that is a handmade paper and it was gifted to me by one of my pen pals uh, this um, tape tag that you see me adding the month it's from Tim Holtz as well by the way I have a haul um, playlist where I show you all of the uh, things that I purchased and most of the items that I'm using here today it is going to be in one of my hauls so I included the whole playlist here above on the screen so you guys can check it out later but um, yeah so this is from Tim Holtz both of those uh, you know tape tags they are from Tim Holtz uh, so I just like to use that one because it's very vintage looking and uh, the one, the paper that says vintage and it has a dictionary meaning of the word vintage, that one was gifted to me by one of my pen pals. I'm not sure where is that paper from. I'm assuming she stamped the, um, you know, that in that paper. Um, and the crochet flower was also gifted to me by one of my pen pals. Um, ribbon that I'm using, I got it from Joanne. It's from the company called Frey, if I'm not mistaken. This um, beige with brown. And the, all of the stickers that I'm going to be using today, they are all from the same package. They are all print-on stickers. So you saw me using there the bone folder in order to be able to apply those stickers. I'm gonna be only using this sticker set today. Um, and um, 
this actually is sticker a package was actually gifted to me by one of my pen pals but i know it's from the company called mu lifestyle um they are on instagram um but yeah beautiful stickers uh beautiful flower stickers so i thought it was very fitting with the whole vintage because they had this vintage looking um you know to those flowers so i thought it was fitting with the whole brown beige yellowish scheme i don't know what it is i really like to mix um you know roses with vintage scheme especially if i feel the stickers looks a little bit like a vintage flower um i think it it complements so well um i really like it but anyways uh in terms of uh, um this page right here so uh, once i'm done with the you know with my cover uh decorating my cover the next page the first page that you as soon as you open the journal my journal is this um inside cover now if you grab a travelers company insert you notice that all of the inserts comes with this inside cover a lot of people use this inside cover to indicate what they're going to be using this insert for but because i only use this insert for one month and i already you know indicated in the cover what is this insert for it's for the month of september 2020 i don't need the inside cover for anything so i like to use this inside cover for my goal page and um, again i explained that into more details uh, on my setup video um, but pretty much i don't like to have yearly goals i like to have just monthly goals i feel they are more attainable um, so every month i have a new goal and i just have one goal a month nothing else i don't work with multiple goals just one goal a month so i like my goal to be the first thing that i see when i first open my insert so that's why i like to use this inside cover for my goal page and you saw me using the same materials the only thing here that i used that was different was this uh, washi uh, sample that one of my pen pals sent it to me that is this brown uh with um beige and uh, i'm using the same paper from tim holtz the same um, print on stickers the same uh, tape tag and uh, yeah i'm just uh, um, adding very simple and usually for this goal page i just like to add a piece of paper like a square just so i can write it my goal for the month and uh, like i said it's just one goal per month i don't have more than one goal um and that's it then i'm done uh with that page and i can move on to the next one now um if you are curious about why i do this um i got this idea this whole idea of setting it up you know uh, monthly goals and just one goal per month from the book the one thing um if you like to read books and you like you know goal setting and uh all of that jazz um I highly suggest that you read that book it's one of my favorite books of all time um, it's really uh, interesting I know I, I mentioned probably this if you've watched my videos before you're probably tired of me talking about this book but it's so good I highly suggest uh, this book goes into uh, more details about how you should be setting it up goals um, it really makes you focus um, on what is the most important thing for you the whole thing the whole idea of setting goal it's fascinating to me i don't know if you guys like that stuff or not but um i think a lot of uh, you know of who we are as a person and what we end up achieving in life um it's contributed by the goals if you are a type of person that you like to set goals for yourself and like to think about how you want your life to go um, a lot of people don't like to set goals they prefer you know to just go about life and there's nothing wrong with that and go with the rhythm but i just feel that's like when do you have uh, 
a goals mindset you are always constantly trying to improve yourself and uh, achieve things and uh, you know and you're trying to i don't know just i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> but you are always moving forward i feel you're always working towards something i don't know i i because i'm such a goal-oriented type of person i can understand not having goals at all for nothing um i'm the constant uh, type i'm the type of person that i'm constantly you know working towards something work towards something um i always once i achieve something it's like okay what is next what where do i want to go now um i'm always trying to improve myself and uh, see where what else i can do or what else i can achieve so for me like a goal setting it's fascinating and uh, throughout my whole life um i try so many different ways of setting goals and you know uh, new year's resolutions and all of those goals and set up five-year goals and one-year goal and uh, you know and uh, what i found is that things can change so quickly in life like you can set up in the beginning of the year and uh, there's nothing wrong i love like you know a beginning of the year a new beginning and be able to start over i love that thing but I, I truly don't believe in yearly goals because it never worked for me. I'll always set yearly goals and uh, I'll give three months tops and uh, I would either already had to give up on it because, you know, it gets to a point that is so far out that you just don't do it or life gets in on the way and uh, what you had it set up to accomplish in the beginning of the year it doesn't make any sense anymore um you know you change life change sometimes what you were interested in the beginning of the year makes no sense anymore for you and uh, you are no longer interested in that so i feel that like to you know to private yourself of a uh, of a goal that is so far out that i don't know like it just doesn't make sense to me it never worked so when i read this book um it really goes into a lot of the things about you know how to set up actually go properly and how you can actually achieve much more in, in much a shorter period of time if you just be focused because if you think of someone that in the beginning of the year they set up their year's resolutions and they start with five goals for the year and uh, they you know as the year goes by they start working towards it and that they are you know splitting themselves into all of those different uh achievements that they have to and at the end of three months they haven't accomplished anything because they are so spread out and there's so many things that they have to focus on in comparison with when you really decide okay what is the absolutely one thing that if i do if i accomplish i'll be happy uh this is the most important thing that i can do right now and if you set this for your monthly goal that doesn't mean that you don't get to achieve the other ones but that puts you in a position that you really have to rethink your priorities and out of all of those five goals that you want to achieve throughout the year what is the one that you have to achieve first what is the one that's gonna bring you the most happiness it's gonna make you uh, feel more accomplished when you put yourself into thinking this perspective you end up realizing very quickly that there's a lot of goals that we you know and a lot of uh, uh years resolutions that we set ourselves to achieve that they are not important at the end of the day the month the year it's just gonna be there in the list and uh, it's not gonna bring you happiness it's not gonna make you feel accomplished in any way it's just a weight so it really frees you up to the point of um, 
you know, really put you in a perspective of laser focus, you really start to think in a way that's like, I'm not going to do what I can do. Like, I can only do one thing. So you really start to think in a different way of what is the most important all the time. And uh, once I start doing that, that's when I start actually seeing results in my life. Like something that if I had it before set myself to accomplish in a whole year and it would take me a whole year to accomplish. Now I'm putting that thing to be my yearly, oh, sorry, my monthly goal. And now I'm accomplishing that thing in a month because, you know, it just so happened that if you give yourself a month to accomplish, you're going to accomplish in a month. But if you give yourself a year to accomplish, you're going to take a year to accomplish. So, and uh, yeah, it just gives you a better, you know, laser focus really. Uh, not only makes you to work on the things that are the most important and forget about the rest that is not, but also makes you to also reduce the time frame that you accomplish things. So it's a win-win situation, right? You get to not only focus on what is more important and forget about the things they are not, but also it makes you to really accomplish things much faster in a, you know, in a time manner that will be much faster than if you just leave that as a yearly goal. And uh, I don't know, I preach a lot about that, but. Um, Try for yourself. If you never try doing just one goal a month, try it. It's very interesting what it can do. It's interesting, like, it, you know, some people are like, ah, but I don't like to limit myself to just one goal a month. It's just so hard to just pick one thing. But when you put all of your energy into just one thing, that's all that you can work on, you will be surprised of how quickly you can achieve something and then you are free once you achieve that you are free to pick the next one thing and then the next one thing and uh when you last know like the year is over but you actually accomplished in that year much more if you had picked everything in the beginning of the year and you wanted to accomplish everything at once and you end up not accomplish anything so yeah enough rambling there <laughs> Oh my god, I can go on and on about that thing. I, I just love uh, anything related to self-development. Um, so sorry about that. It's like I can be very rambling when it comes to that stuff. All right, so after my goal page, the next page in my planner, it is my monthly calendar, which you see me uh, doing right now. And my monthly calendar is just, you know, it's a, a month overview of everything, really. It's just a, it's just a calendar. Um, I like to have a monthly calendar uh, in my planner just so I can have a, a quick synopsis of everything that's happening that month. So I don't use this monthly calendar for appointments like dentist appointment, doctor's appointment or anything like that. Uh, this monthly calendar, it is for things more that I consider more important like uh, birthdays, holidays, events, trips. Um, so those are the things that I'm gonna add it in this monthly calendar. Um, but yeah, when it comes to like, you know, appointments, I have my Google Calendar. Uh, that's what I usually put those uh, in. Here is something, like I said, like I just want an uh, overview of what is happening uh, in that month. So that way I know when to send cards or, you know, if I'm going to be free this weekend or not, if there's any event going on, party or something like that, or if I'm traveling. Um, but yeah, so that's what the monthly calendar I use for. Now, I don't know if you noticed in the beginning, I use a different paper to draw the calendar. I like to use a dotted paper because it's just so much easier to, you know, to draw the calendar instead of drawing directly into this um, insert because the paper is actually blank. So I would have it to actually measure. So I just use a dotted paper. I just do a five by five dotted, uh, which is about a one, one by one inch uh, per day. 
And uh, yeah, I like to do that in a separate paper, not only because of the measurement that makes things easier, but also because I can actually, you know, work with uh, um, different papers and actually when I'm adding the calendar, I can actually add the papers underneath the calendar. And uh, when I do my paper collage, I can actually work, you know, with different levels of papers, if that makes any sense. But yeah, everything else that I used, uh, in that calendar you saw me using throughout the the layouts before so it's the same materials i try to keep the same cohesive theme so i didn't have to think too much about what to do it was just easier to use the same theme and uh, i was just using the same materials because i already had it there in handy and that's it um but yeah um i think that's pretty much it for the month calendar i don't know what else to say um you saw me using some crochet uh, ribbon uh, there uh, that one was gifted to me by one of my pen pals i don't know where she got it from i'm trying to think of what else i use it here that i didn't tell you guys uh yes i use some doilies uh that one i got a joanne and uh those postage uh, stickers i was gifted to me by one of my pen pals i don't know where she got it from uh the paper doll that you saw me using um uh, that's like that vintage photograph that one is actually um team holds i love those paper dolls it's just a bunch of like um you know vintage photograph and i thought it was very fitting the girl was actually a sitting so i was able to actually put it her on the calendar like if she was sitting on the calendar and uh i mean the rose stickers you saw me using is the same package again with those print on stickers that i've been using so far so yeah and uh, that takes us to the last layout for today which is my weekly log again uh today you're just gonna be seeing me uh, setting it up the first week of september uh the next few weeks as the weeks go by i will film uh, my uh, weekly layout so that way you can see how i am decorating i just think it would be too much for me to do all all at once this video usually my setup videos are already so so long so i just rather do those uh, you know plan with me videos separate where i show you how i decorated the other weekly layout so i hope that's okay with you guys but yeah this is going to be for week 36 that's the first week of september um and um for my weekly layouts um you're gonna notice that i decorated my weekly layouts very heavily this was actually not heavy at all compared to the way that i usually decorate i usually cover my pages much more than i did today but the reason being is because for my weekly layouts i only use this for my um, daily goals i don't use my uh, weekly layouts for tasks now if you want to use this for your tasks um, you know the space that I left today I think it's enough for you to put a couple of tasks there um, but yeah but I don't I don't need a lot of space on my weekly layouts because I just use for my daily goals and I only work with one goal a day It's the same idea of my monthly goal I only have one goal a month the same thing follows for my daily it's just one goal a day I don't work with anything else so it's the first thing that I try to work on when I wake up and uh, I won't I won't uh, rest until I you know I get my daily goal done and the tasks and things like that I do in my Google Calendar so but yeah uh, decorating the same way using the same team hold tags uh, you know same stamps and um, sticker stamps same you know stickers rose stickers and everything i just grabbed a piece of paper of the same paper the handmade paper to put the title september and if you're curious about why did i start in on tuesday instead of monday it's because that's when september starts but that's it i'm gonna bring in close so you guys can see all of the details of all the pages i hope you guys uh, like this layout if you hang out with me uh, and stick in this video this far thank you so much i know it was a very long video but i hope you guys enjoy but that's it for today bye for now